And the next one, ladies and gentlemen, is in the minus uh, 74 kilogram division MMA, three rounds uh, between Samuel L. Hockey and Hubert Bicar. The man fighting out of the red corner, Samuel L. Hockey! Oh boy, I'm getting goosebumps. Here comes the local. Well, that's Hubert and Lahockey, Lahockey there with the shaven head. Good chat with him before the fight. He's a humble guy. He's a chill, laid back dude. He just is living out his dreams. He wants to be the best in the world one day. He just loves what he does. He's coming out here to make an impression. These guys had an arm wrestle during the face off and some people will read into this, others won't, right? But Hubert showed his brute strength, which he is known for, and smashed it in the arm wrestle. Now, it's a little unorthodox to have an arm wrestle during the walkout, but some people like it. I like it. I think it's an interesting test of the mind games. Yeah, I thought it was really interesting. I thought it was very unique, uh, very fun. Uh, we were all there uh, at the castle here in Slovakia, and we saw Hubert just showing his physical strength. It, and, and just quickly uh, taking down uh, Samuel Lahaki. And um, uh, like Dave, our president, was saying, we'll see if that uh, affects uh, Lahaki in this match. Uh, he's, he's, he's down one now, so we'll see if, he, if he'll even it out or if uh, Wicker will be able to come out with the W on this one. Yeah, we hear so much about the strength of Vicar, the orthodox techniques in training when it comes to grappling, when you try Kamora, when you try an armbar, this guy, he's just too strong and he just has a way of getting out of it. Very, very, very this strong. Is, ladies and gentlemen, Great Hubert shape. Vicar. Hubert Vicar. His opponent in the red corner, Samuel L. Hockey. Getting in the zone. Samuel L. Hockey. This is a big fight for him tonight. He is representing Slovakia. It's very much the home turf for this young man. Yeah, representing the Slovaks here in his home turf. Samuel Hockey coming in at 74 kilograms, ready. Like you were saying, Andrew, he was, he's, he's a quiet guy. He's a serious guy, very cool guy. But um, those are the ones that once the cage shuts, they bring it all out. And uh, we expect an absolute war here on this one. Very excited about this fight. Nine and three amateur record for the hockey. He's just 21 years old. Decent amateur experience under his belt. He says movement is his biggest attribute. He recognizes the strength of his opponent, but as he pointed out, it's an old cliche, but strength doesn't always beat smarts. And, and that's how he's looking to win this fight. Yeah, especially in martial arts, right? You know, uh, you can be strong, but we'll see how his uh, technique is. the man goes. fighting out of the red corner from Slovakia. 20 years old, stands in at 180 centimeters tall, 13 fights on his record, 9 victories, 3 defeats and 1 draw. Ladies and gentlemen, Samuel L.O.T.B. <laughs> when his opponent fighting out of the blue corner from Poland. 22 years old, stands in at 179 centimeters tall. 10 fights on his record, nine victories and one defeat. Hubert Mika! <laughs> when his MMA fight in the minus 74 kilogram division is scheduled, three rounds of three minutes. Referee is Mr. Robert Antoni. Very excited about this, Chris, to see two young, talented guys, very hungry and a big opportunity to show what they can do with viewers watching from around the world on a card and a promotion that's got very big plans in store. Yeah, huge plans, huge plans. Um, obviously, we were being led by President King, Dave, and, and uh, fueled by MRI and Crypto. Let's see if Hubert can unleash the beast here with that right hand. He looks for it early. And these guys are coming out with everything. Yeah, early pace from Hubert Vickart. He's got Lahoki up against the cage, but he's got him wrapped up a little bit, Lahoki, in the clinch. Good knee. Good knee. 
The hockey now stalking forward. Good tip from Hubert Vicker. Oh. Nice combination there by Wickard. Are you sensing coming an early finish aggressive. here, Chris, again? Yeah, I, I mean, th these guys are coming out loud. They're very aggressive and they're coming out to kill. And, and Hubert Wicker is swanging and banging. But slick catch from the hockey. Almost had it. Oh, we caught him. Oh, he caught him. Getting some shots in there in the clinch. We got some right hands. Trying to go for the takedown. Solid takedown defense so far from La Hockey, but Hubert Vicar sweeping the leg. Can he take this fight down to the canvas? Yeah, we see um we see good grappling here by, by both fighters. Refusing to get the take to, to let him get the takedown and there we go. Just looking for a nice elbow on the break potentially from the hockey. Again, the power we're seeing it from Hubert Vicar. He's connecting with some clean shots there. Nice front kick there by the hockey. Yeah, using the teep to keep him at range. When he gets in these positions, he looks oh so dangerous, Hubert Vicar. But the hockey's oh, biting back. <laughs> going all out. And defends the takedown well, the local boy. Again with the front kick, the hockey. And, and Wicca is just well, He looks so swinging. dangerous. <laughs> it's a little bit wild. Yeah. Beautiful knee from the hockey. Now he's yes. swinging. He's getting countered a lot when he goes in for the combinations and then we're starting to see him slow down a little bit, getting some damage. Well, that's what the hockey was saying. He wants to be the slicker, smarter fighter. Potential guillotine here for the Slovak. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice uppercut there. Beautiful combinations from the hockey here. Forces Hubert Vicar to go for the takedown again, but the... And he gets and he it gets this it. time. We're at the end of the first round. Oh, and we see some cuts on both fighters. I think Wicar's got pretty bad under uh, his that, right eye. Uh, that's Vicar's blood, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Loki talked about being the slicker, smarter fighter, and we saw the danger of the power from Hubert Vicar early on, but actually, for me, what shone through was the smarts of Loki there. Yeah, Loki is uh, uh, just letting him come in, letting him get tired and countering, and then, and he's caught him a couple of times, and we see it in, in Wicar's face. He's cut up. I mean, he looks significantly more tired than than, than, uh, than when he started that first round and, and we'll see if he can come back and recover and get some damage on the hockey but smart fighting by the hockey I mean you can imagine the pressure on the hockey representing the home country and the hometown and beautiful Bresno here it's a very cool location we have to say beautiful location beautiful place beautiful country I've, I'm, I'm absolutely appalled by, by the whole uh, place, and uh, they've received it with open arms. Uh, shout out to Double Red. Great out for the second round. Yeah, the, this Double Red location here in the car museum with vintage cars surrounding us, it's like something out of a Van Damme movie. You've got to respect that. Absolutely, absolutely. Here we go. Lahoki will have a little bit of confidence behind him. Goes in quick. Beautiful knee from the hockey, and nice another knee. one. And oh. another. Nice clinch from the hockey, hitting him with those knees. And that'll take it out of Huber Vicker. Drain the gas tank of the pole. Yeah, absolutely. He, he could tell he's getting tired. He's, he's, he's hitting the body now. We see him focusing on, on draining Wickard's energy. Ooh. Oh, love nice shots. Nice strike. Oh. Oh, oh, we just got sprayed in oh. sweat and blood on the commentator's oh. desk. Is the finish <laughs> upon us right here, Chris? Man, it, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm super impressed with uh, La Hockey here, right in front of the home crowd, in front of the commentary desk. And I'll tell you what, Hubert Vickers looking tired in front yeah, of us. Yeah, he's looking tired. And, and those body shots are starting to affect him. Oh, nice. Uppercut there by La Hockey again. Sweet as a nut on the uppercut. 
Huber Vicker with a knee of his own, but no oh, meaning behind, behind it. Oh, he is getting battered now. Oh! I mean, the lacerations on the face of Huber Vicker are telling a story, Chris. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Wickard, continuing, he's an absolute warrior. He's very strong, uh, but he might have come out a little too strong at first, and, 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 we're, and we're seeing him slow down a little bit. Lahaki is here just playing smart, getting the counters, and there he goes again. Pushing him off and hitting him with the left. Oh, oh. nice uppercut again. Oh, he missed with the uppercut, but the, those first two shots on the combination landed pretty cleanly. Huber Going for Vicker. the takedown. Uh, and they come up against the cage again. And right in front of us here. Can Hubert Vicker land it? He senses it. It's really coming a little bit and out of desperation, he but he lands it. He gets the takedown. And he's trying to get the full mount. Get some ground and pound. Dangerous position here for Lahaki. This could turn the tide for the pole, but he stays standing for now. Solid ground and pound. Yeah, he has yet to pass his guard. But we see Lahaki in a, in a bad position here. He needs to get out of that position. Can you find room for the elbows here, Vicar? With 30 seconds, 28 seconds left. Let's see what the hockey can do from this position. It's a pivotal moment in the fight here. This could help claw Vicar back on the judges' scorecards, although I'm not sure it'll go that far. Man, Vicar is really badly cut up. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. That was and a naughty just, one. <laughs> these guys just don't want to stop. That was a oh, cheeky yeah. one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He seems pretty apologetic. No, yeah, he, he, he's in it, and uh, he thought they were still going. It's not his fault. It's just adrenaline's running. And these guys are absolutely giving us a show out here. MFC won the great beginning in Slovakia. I'm here with the great Andrew. What a pleasure to be here commentating next to you, my friend. Oh, it's an absolute view. I'm having so much fun. We anticipated some finishes tonight, and we're getting them. We're getting the action that we promised. Uh, do you see this going the distance? I don't think so, to be honest. I don't think so. I think uh, it ends uh, in this upcoming round, and um, both guys have done significant damage. Wickar is, is, is pretty badly cut up. His eye, his right eye is pretty swollen. He looks pretty tired. We'll see if Lahaki can finish here in this upcoming round. It's a great opportunity for these young, hungry fighters to express themselves doing what they love with the world watching. Share the stream on YouTube. It is an historic night for cryptocurrency and an historic night for mixed martial arts in that way as well. These guys showing what they do best. Samuel Hockey really impressing tonight, showing great hands. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, his counters are, are getting him. You know, he's, he's letting Wicard come in. He came in really aggressive and he's counting him, hurting him. And obviously he's going in for the body. And we can tell Wicard is significantly hurt in, in, in this one. And, and we'll see what he can do in this next round. Do follow us at Worldwide MFC and at Marshall Inu underscore. Share the love, share the beauty of martial arts and high well, octane finishes, which we are seeing here tonight. Will we see another one in round three? Oh boy. Cuba Vicar staring Samuel Lahaki down. Lahaki really looks focused. really, really calm and confident in this one. Can Samuel Lahaki find the finish or can Hubert Vicar dig deep? Clipping him with the left hand, a couple of jabs. Good jab by Lahaki. Going in for the takedown, Vicar. It's half-hearted though from the pole. Oh, oh, beautiful oh. uppercuts. Oh, nice knee there by Lahaki. And Wicar looks hurt. The left Wicar hand. looks hurt, left the hand. Left cross as he got the finish here. <laughs> Samuel Hockey oh, unloading. The takedown. He's got to throw that knee with bad intentions, Hubert Vicar. It's a tired knee. Yes, it's a very tired knee, and Lahaki still has a lot of power in his, so it's, it's definitely hurting Wicar a lot. And we see him going for the takedowns. Trying to slow Lahaki down a little bit. Lahaki. Oh, the left hand. He's busted him wide open again, Chris. Yes, he's. Oh, oh. Oh, nice uppercut again. Savage. Lahaki chasing him down. 
slick movement from the hockey to avoid the takedown. He did say that his movement was one of his best features as a martial artist. Yes, and we see it here. We definitely see it here. He has him cornered against the cage. Wicard looks really hurt and tired. You would have thought if he doesn't walk away with the finish tonight, he'll be disappointed. Just oh. over one and a half minutes to go in the third and final round here. Oh, nice knee again by Lahaki. Good uppercut. Just vicious knees by Lahaki. Vicious knees. I mean, with a bonus on the table here tonight, Samuel Lahaki might fancy his chances as an early front runner. Absolutely. Hubert Vicar trying to hold on for that single leg. They are covered in blood in front They're of us. Absolutely covered in blood. This is an absolute war over here. Both guys refusing to give up. Well, if you like savagery, you come to the right place. A minute left in the third round. Hubert Vicar is struggling, man. Yeah, he's struggling. And Lahaki's trying to push off and, and, and get those knees in and finish him off. I'm loving the technique on the knees from Lahaki. They're so sharp, that beautiful Muay Thai style. Wicar going in again for the takedown. He looks absolutely drained right now. But he's in danger of walking into a sharp knee. Yes. Possible guillotine here for Lahaki. We got 30 seconds left on this round. Let's see if Lahaki can finish. He'll regret not finishing this fight if he doesn't. I'm sure he'll be pleased to walk away with a W. Oh. The uppercut again, oh. that uppercut. Oh, to the Shots body. to the body. And Lahaki's going for it. Lahaki chasing him down. He smells blood, he sees blood. Oh. With the full mount, Lahaki in top position. 10 seconds to go. Can he finish the fight? <laughs> oh. Yeah, wow. look what and it means to him. What an absolute war. What an absolute war, these two guys. Absolute warriors. The Octagon is completely covered in blood. This is amazing. This is amazing. Look at the body language. He is feeling like the he man is right it. now. Is there no one else? <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> is there any more? <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the action around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, do share the stream with fellow fight fans, fellow crypto fans. This is the great beginning. And this is a guy to keep an eye on. He just announced himself to the world, Samuel Hockey, and we have just got a drop of blood on our commentary notes. Yeah, our notes are full of blood, and, 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 and that's just what MFC oh, well, brings to the I, I have some too. Great. Fantastic, Chris. <laughs> Well, that's, uh, that's what you get in the kind of up close and personal scenes that we're seeing here. This is straight out of an 80s, 90s action movie. We've got that warehouse vibe, vintage cars in the background and wall to wall badasses. I mean, what else can you expect from MRI? What else can you expect from MFC, from King Le uh, the King, Dave LeDuc? What else can you expect? This is an absolute amazing car that we put together. The fighters are hungry. They want it. and. Um, Everything's absolutely great, Andrew, and, and, and the ring girls are looking when really nice here. I hope uh, ring, all please. of our holders are enjoying this. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, a big and big applause for these two warriors, Samuel and Hubert. Well, the winner of this fight is the man in the red corner, Samuel and Archie. Also, your appreciation for his opponent for tonight's fight, Hubert Vikar. Two absolute warriors. If you enjoyed what you see, ping these guys in crypto. Give them a tip. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, the hockey coming away with the W. He really deserved it. He was a smarter fighter on this one. Wicard came out strong. He came out to kill. But the hockey just weared it off and, and was able to uh, really get more damage in on Wicard. And, and, and we obviously see it in, in, you know, in their face. You love to see that. The crowd are loving it as well. I hope you're enjoying it at home. Samuel Hockey, ladies and gentlemen, a name to remember. Remember the name. Absolutely. Remember Samuel Hockey, the local Slovak making his home country proud.